Hi, I'm Sapientia. This is a very introductory statistics course for beginners. This is the final chapter of T-Test. T-Test 7, Last Practice T-Test. Um, I've got many questions from students about the choice of stat software. What is the best stat software? My answer is, it doesn't matter. No matter what software you used, the statistical results are totally the same. But when I recommended this test software, there are some pros and cons in each software. Let me see. Of course, this is my uh, own opinion on popular test software. So you couldn't agree with me, but let's check pros and cons of each software. First of all, SAS is a well-organized software, which is suitable for big company. The entry barrier is very high and is far too long. Also, it requires big money. Second, SPSS might be the most popular stat software all over the world, I think. It's very relatively easier for learning how to use and there are sufficient resources for learning. However, you have to pay some money but most people illegally downloaded it from dark web or P2P. So I hate this program and uh, I don't want to recommend SPSS to students. Third one is uh, Stata. Stata is good for advanced stat learners because it provided various stat methods which are recently developed. It also provided a good graphical user interface. However, it also requires big money. Finally, R is recently popular because of the data science. The best point is uh, this software is free because it's an open source software, but it's very tough to learn because it requires a coding level skill. Thus, these four softwares are not proper for beginners, I think. So, um, my choice is Jamovi. You can freely download this software from jamovi.org because this program is an open source software. Uh, this software is based on the R, but the usability of Jamovi is very high. And the uh, user interactive interface is very good. I think uh, the GUI is better than SPSS. However, one shortcoming is uh, if your data uh, included some uh, your own language other than English, the Jamovi maybe makes some error. So you have to transfer your, uh, um, your own language to English. This is a screenshot of Jamovi. Okay. And the uh, second software is uh, Blue Sky Statistics. This is also free. And you can download Blue Sky from the blueskystatistics.com. The free version is the same as buying version, but uh, I think uh, there is no other uh, different facet between the two versions. Anyway, the only one thing different point is uh, customer support. Okay, and the uh, uh, graphical user interface of uh, uh, Blue Sky is very similar with SPSS. And uh, I think this is more uh, well developed for data science. Okay. Um, the shortcomings are output looks, looks not beautiful, I think. 
and the text-based output. So it's a uh, kind of some problem, but um, this is, a, I think, a very small. Mm -hmm. And you can download these blue sky statistics from the website. Okay. And uh, today, uh, we have to use some sample, our sample data from downloaded uh, from the Kaggle.com. As you know, the Kaggle.com is a very well-known uh, data science competition site. And uh, I recommend you check this website. Okay, so let's go to the Kaggle.com. Okay, this is a Kaggle.com. Um, if you uh, go to the Kaggle.com, this is the first page. It can change every time anyway. You go to data and then search student alcohol consumption. This one. This is our sample data. Going to the student alcohol consumption. Okay, and the Kaggle.com provided uh, the details of the uh, data set. Okay, if you uh, click here, this is the background of this data and the explanations of uh, variables. You can download by clicking this download and then you have to unzip because this file has these three uh, files. Uh, we will use a student math CSV. This is a student math score, okay? And uh, uh, we will use the gender variable, male and female, and uh, we will also use G1, G2, G3. These are first, second, and final grade of mathematics, okay? Um, this is a kind of some illustration of the variable and the descriptive stat of variable here, okay? And you can download Jamovi from jamovi.org. If you're going to the download, you can download freely the solid version of Jamovi here. So let's download and install the Jamovi in your computer. And then also download this sample data. Okay, let's go Zamovi. Okay, if you downloaded your um, uh, uh, the the sample in your computer, uh, just open the file. The left panel looks like uh, Excel. Okay, this uh, is a uh, uh, this is a variable name. We will use this gender. And uh, finally, the G1, G2, G3, okay? Okay, let's check the t-test. You have the t-test menu here. Just click. And there are three types of t-test. First of all, we will uh, go on the independent sample t-test. Here, we want to compare the male and female students' math score. The, we have, uh, there are three um, mass score. These are dependent variable. First of all, G1 is going to the dependent variable and we use the gender as a grouping variable. Just insert this variable, the Jamovi shows like uh, the result on the right panel, okay? Here. So for the first grade, first exam, the students' mass score between male and female were not different statistically. Why? The PBL is greater than 0.05. Okay. How about the second score? Let's check the second score. Second score is going on. And the PBL is 0.071. So statistically not significant. It means that the mass grade of male and female students are same. How about the final grade? For the final grade, the p-value is less than 0.05. So, only final exam, only the final mass exam is statistically different between male and female students. 
So maybe you can ask a question why the first two exams were not different, but only the final exam is different. Uh, maybe uh, the reason is why come from hypothesis. Okay, here the deferred hypothesis is two tail hypothesis. Group one is not equal to group two. Not equal means is greater or and less. So let's check and uh, let's change our hypothesis from two tailed to one tail. These two are one tail hypothesis. Okay, so let's change. How about this one? Let's change it, but all p value is very, very large. Why? Here, the alternative hypothesis is female students' mass score is larger than male students' mass score. Okay? So, let's change the direction. Mm -hmm. Here. As you can see here, the alternative hypothesis is the male student's mass score is larger than female student's mass score, right? And the p-values, all three p-values are less than 0.05. So, it means that in all cases, male student's mass score is statistically larger than female student. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's check the uh, good point, best point of Jamovi here. Um, let's check the descriptives. Here we have three um, uh, grade mass exam and male, female, male, female, male, female, and the uh, mean value is here like this. So after this mean value, we can find that the male student's mass score is a little bit better. A little bit better female student. Mm -hmm. Okay. How about the descriptive plot? You just check the descriptive plot. Automatically, JMLV makes some graphical plots like this. As you can see here, male student's mass score is higher, higher, higher than female student. The best point of Zamov is if you just click like this, it's going out. Removed. Click. Removed. Very simple and very easy and very interactive. This is the very, very good point. Best point of Zamov, I think. Okay. This is the independent sample t test. Let's change our question. Okay, we have uh, maybe how many students like here? Let's check the descriptives. Um, female 2.8, male students uh, 1.87. So we have 395 students are included in our sample, right? And uh, this about, about 400, not exactly 400 anyway, uh, 400 students took three times mass exam so if our question is how about the first exam first exam mm -hmm. score is same or not as final exam is these two are same or not if our question is like this in this case we have to different type of t-test that is paired sample t-test okay so first exam and final exam and the paired sample t-test result significant it means that it means that our students first mass score and final mass scores are statistically different right based on the here to tail test okay so our question is uh, our students mass score is increasing or decreasing going up or going down we don't know like here 
So check the descriptives. Oh, unexpectedly. Uh, first exams, uh, math score was 10.9, but final score was 10.4. It was decreasing, right? So I don't know why, but uh, just I guess the, this sample's uh, title was uh, alcohol consumption, student alcohol consumption. So maybe because of that, uh, students... Um, Mass score is going down, maybe. Yeah. Huh? So all done. That is T test. It's very simple, easy in Zamovi. So I highly recommend you have to install Zamovi and practice this data. Okay? T test. Okay, so all done uh, for T test. So Next time, we will start ANOVA, Analysis of Variance. Okay, thank you, and see you next time.